All right, so we're back. We kind of moved the, uh, the ship inside. Um, but, do, but don't first, forget a word from our sponsor. This show is sponsored by Gummy Bands. 14 in a box. You can share with your classmates if they're under 15 people in your class. I don't know what class has under 15 people. And now, because of COVID, I really don't know if there's even eight people. But you can wear them and eat them, but don't eat them off your friends after you've given them to them. Not just because of COVID, because it's just nasty. Back to the show. So we left off on uh, USF. We're working our way into humanity, correct? We are working our way into humanity. Um, your thoughts? No signs shall be given to this generation. He said that in the passage. Mm -hmm. Jesus refused because his miracles are not done with the intent of convincing hardened unbelievers. Instead, Jesus did miracles to show the power of God in the context of mercy. Yeah. Those who believe that if people see enough signs will come to faith presumed to know more than Jesus did. He condemned the generation who sought out a sign. When they say they don't believe in God and you ask them why, just to be curious, not to be rude, and they say, well, you know, I like, you know, I don't, you know, I don't see anything. I, you know, I don't see any signs that point me in that direction or, right. you know, show me. And, and it's kind of like, why do you have to be shown something to know that it's real? Right. Because you can't see love. You can't feel love. Yeah. But you know it's there. So why do you have to be shown a sign to believe? And then also, on the other side of that, when you start investing your time, like we do in learning, and learning off each other, and then you know hearing what the preacher is preaching, and then you, your walk gets a little stronger. You don't really see anything. You more feel the feeling that you know he's there. Yeah. Uh, then you start seeing, start seeing signs. Not so much to say, "Hey, I'm here," <coughs> but like, oh, you start seeing things, and you know that there's no other person that could have done that. Yeah. So, but I mean. But you're still not looking for that sign. You know the feeling. You know the gratification you get when you read a verse or, or, or you hear a brother and sister talking about it. Mm -hmm. And you want to learn more. And you kind of feed off of it. Yeah. So, now I'm not saying them people are wrong who want signs. I just think that's not the right way to go about it. And, right. it, and that goes back to how, how they're being taught. What are your thoughts on Humanity. humanity. Well, I always refer to this question from a Christian standpoint, not a uh, unbeliever. Um, I think that sometimes we're guilty of one signs. I think how many times do you sit here and think you're going through some tough things, <coughs> and you're talking out loud. You're like, "You know, I need a sign here, dude. I'm struggling right now. Kind of need a sign. I kind of need something." And you don't mean to be uh, like a Pharisee, but you kind of sound like one. That's not how he works, you know. Um, sometimes we just get desperate enough to ask for, you know, when we're asking for help. You know, we ask for a sign. We ask for some kind of light, and uh, we do that. So I kind of saw myself, and that's why I, my, my humanity and view of self was kind of together. Because I think uh, I looked at the view of self, and it hit humanity square in the face. Because... That's what we do. We beg for a sign in times of, of need and in hard times. And not that the, Phar the Pharisees didn't care, they just wanted Jesus to be wrong. So it's a little different, it's not the same. But again, I always look at the humanity question from a Christian standpoint, what can we do to be better Christians? And stop asking for signs, stop asking for that. Just know and understand in your heart, in your mind, that he's got you. I will agree with that. And I think that goes in, and, and, and the response, the last question, 
how, how, how do we respond to this? You know, how do we do, how do we, what's the response to this? As Christians, it rolls right into that. This, this is, all these questions to me just roll right into the same thing almost. They were so identical this week in this reading um, that my response was, do that. Uh, stop asking for signs. Know that he's there. And just be strong in that walk. Be strong in that, uh, in that belief, you know, that through the tough times, he's got you. And... We talked, me and you talked about this last week. We don't just pray for the, we don't just thank him for the good times. We thank him for the bad too. This guy right here, he's gone through some things this past week or two. And between his car, his heater going out of his house, uh, it just uh, watching his attitude, it's just been, and how he's handled it, it's just been absolutely a joy to watch. We hate it for him. I hate it for this guy, because like I said, he's had car problems, he's had, his heater going out of his house and it's blistering cold outside. Um, so my heart's going out to him. But the, the way he's handling everything, you know, his whole thing is, I'm like, hey man, any place to stay? I got an extra bed. He's like, dude, I'm good. You know, there's people out there in a lot worse shape than I am. Uh, you know, for somebody to say that when I know they're sitting there freezing cold in their house with no heater. A lot of times we get mad and angry situations that we can't control. Yeah. And then, but a lot of people never stop and think about what they have. Right. And then stop and think, I'm sitting here complaining about this, and, and there are people who literally have it worse than me. Yeah. And like, I'm complaining about this one factor, but right. I'm not, but I'm overlooking what I have in front of right. me. Right. I mean, you have a house to sit in, even yeah, though I, it has no freezer. Oh, no heater. You you have a got job. Food to you got eat. a job to fix it to pay for it. You know. Yeah. I mean, I got food to eat. I got blankets to cover up with. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I have a space heater or two to like put some heat on me. Like yeah. it's not the bad situation as it as it's not great, but it's not bad either because of the fact that I know that this is not going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> like 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 it's not going to kill me. Technically, it probably can, but. It's, I just picture you like, you know, Jack Nicholson in The Shining, you but, know, sitting on your sofa at the house, <laughs> you know? But I'm not doing that, though. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, honestly, if if I thought it was that bad, then yes. But I don't because I, I, I am trying with myself, it, and even in years I've always said, you know, it can be bad even before I found Jesus, that, hey, it can be worse. Yeah. Uh, but it's 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 thanking him and holding on to what I do have. Yeah. There's probably a reason why I don't have heat. Right. Like this may be something I have to go through. Yeah. This is not a sign I'm looking for. This is a sign that is coming to me saying this is something you need to walk through. Yeah. For something greater on the other side. Right. Because because you got to stop thinking signs or something we look for like you said. On something when something bad's happening, mm -hmm. but, but the sign can be reversed and go, no, I, I'm not gonna give you that right now. Right. I'm gonna wait because it's, it's it's in his timing. Yeah. So he's like, I got you. But but even something as little or as big as heat or like food or whatever, people don't think about it. And even us, we don't think about it a lot of times either. Yeah. But that may be something that he's like, hey. But then you ask that. What's the average person? When you, but you ask the non-believer, and he's like, "No, you know, he wouldn't do that to you." Yes, he would. Yeah. Yes, he would do that to you. Right. He would allow that to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not that he's looking down and going, "Peanut, I want you to suffer." Right. Like he's Let's not doing that. What he's doing. Right. He he's going. You don't see what I see that's going to happen here. Right. So if you can get through this, I know you'll be ready to receive this. Right. And so that's the way I'm kind of looking at it. It's like that's it. Man. It's like okay. And plus, that also that is if I have a negative energy about this, that's going to spread off on you. Yep. The next person, next person, mm -hmm. and then bad. You know, like I'm not right. saying bad things will happen, but I'm saying you just your negative energy feeds off negative energy, or so than positive energy. 
I'm, I'm glad we're doing this video is what I'm glad we, we, we talked about doing so this. We've been talking about doing this. Uh, and, and I'm glad we finally got a sponsor. We did. <laughs> I'm like, we I'm finally glad we got a sponsor. I'm so happy about the, uh, the gummy bands. To, uh, to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that follow button. I heard, I heard somebody say something today on TikTok. Yeah. That I thought of us immediately when I heard this. What, what happened? So this girl on TikTok goes, Every day I check my my videos for like new subscribers or views, and I'm like, oh, well, yeah, that's me and it's me and Fuzzy on YouTube. I'm like, here on TikTok, I don't really care less. Yeah. And then she was like, but well, why am I so worried about it? Because Jesus only had 12 followers, and he was fine. Well played, man.